In these quiet moments, Vanessa Riddell indulges in relief, knowing finally she and her daughter are going to be safe. When I accepted in Canada, I'm really so much, I barely could, I cannot sleep for so many days, mm -hmm. and I cannot believe it. Yeah. And I say, oh, thank you, thank you so much. So mm -hmm. In 2013, Rodell used her small apartment to hide American whistleblower Edward Snowden. His Canadian lawyer asked Rodell and two other migrants living in Hong Kong to offer shelter at a time when Snowden was the most wanted man in the world. They became known as Snowden's angels. They opened their door to me and they didn't ask, they didn't care what happened to me. They knew what it was like uh, to be hunted, to be chased, to be retaliated against. When authorities in Hong Kong found out Riddell helped Snowden, she says her social assistance ended and her daughter was banned from school, fearing she would be deported to her native Philippines where she says her life would be in danger. A group of Canadian lawyers offered to privately sponsor her as a refugee. The lawyers now want Canada to quickly grant asylum to the other migrants involved, including a family of four that also harbored Snowden. It's absolutely distressful for them. They live in fear and anxiety. They don't know if they have a future. For the first time in their lives, Vanessa and her daughter are planning a future. Seven-year-old Kiana wants a puppy and to see some wildlife. I will be a wolf protector and protect wolves from people who keep hunting them. She looks forward to playing in the snow when her new life finally begins. Katie Simpson, CBC News, Ottawa.